welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel let's look at uh, the human ear under the human ear we have to look at um, the different parts of the ear and the functions how the ear functions it means that that is the hearing process the defects of the ear meaning that people are having problems with hearing the ear is divided into three parts the outer ear this part we call it the outer ear consists of the pinna the pinna is this uh, flappy part which you see uh, outside so it's called the the pinna so the pinna is connected to what called the auditory canal and then it also has what called the tympanic membrane on your marking we call it tympanic membrane we don't call it uh, eardrum we prefer uh, we prefer calling it tympanic membrane so it has the pinna which collects sounds and then sends the sounds to the auditory canal then the auditory canal has to bring the sound to the tympanic so now it has what you call the middle ear the middle ear is made up of uh, these parts whereby it has the three bones three bones which we call oscos the malleus the incus and the stapes and then it has what you call the eustachian tube eustachian tube is that tube which connects to the mouth so like when you yawn you feel like some air is going through the ear because of um, the station tube is connected. Yes, the mouth is connected with the station tube. So uh, basically, uh, this is the oval window. Yes, and then uh, it's, it's like an oval shape. That's why it's called the oval window. Then this one is round, it's a round shape. That's why it's called the round window. Then you have what's called the inner ear. The inner ear is divided into different parts also, whereby you have the cochlea, then you have the auditory nerves. The cochlea is where you find the cells detecting the, the sound or the vibration. The auditory canal is those ones, auditory canal, they send impulse to the brain. And then you have uh, the other part of the ear which is responsible for balance. So we call it the semicircular canals, the semicircular canals. So basically, these are some of the parts which we need to look at in the ear. Then we need to know the function of each so that we can bring about the functioning of the ear. So we need to look at the functions of each part so that we can bring about the normal functioning of the ear. So the first part is what you call the pinna, the pinna, which is the outside part of the, the ear. It collects and direct sound wave to the tympanic membrane. It means that when it collects, uh, it has these curves so that it, it, it can collect sound wave from any direction and then sends it to the tympanic membrane via the auditory canal. So now, uh, the auditory canal, it transmits sound waves. So when the pinna collects the sound, it gives it to uh, the auditory canal. When the pinna collects the sound, it gives it to the auditory canal. The auditory canal sends the sound wave to the tympanic membrane. Then the tympanic membrane transmits the sound vibration to the middle ear. So when the sound wave hits the, the, the tympanic membrane, the one which we call the eardrum, but we prefer calling it the tympanic membrane. So this, it, it, it vibrates. It's like beating the, the drum. When you beat the drum, it vibrates and then the sound is being produced, causing these um, three bones to to change the position. During the changing of the position, then it means that um, the sound is being transmitted in the form of vibration. So we have the oscos, the three bones, the three bones, which called the marias, incas, and stepes, which you call mis, M-I-S, mis, marias, incas, and stepes. Hammer, envil, and stirrup, uh, we basically don't advise to use it in the exam, Although it is correct, but uh, we don't advise it to use in exam. We prefer using Marius, Incas, and Stepes. These bones, they amplify the vibration. They amplify the vibration and also takes the vibration to over window. So 
uh, oscos amplifies the vibration and also transmits the vibration to of a window. Basically, that is its function. And then we have uh, semicircular canals. These ones, they have sensor receptors for balance. That is uh, the cristae and the maculae. Then you have these wires, which you call the nerves. Yes, the nerves, they're very important transmitting the impulse to the brain. So some come from uh, the semicircular canal, responsible for balance, some from the um, cochlea, which is for hearing. So both of them, they're being transmitted to the brain. However, they go to different parts of the brain because balance is controlled by a different part of brain from hearing. So hearing is a sensation which is being controlled by cerebrum while balance is, is being controlled by cerebellum. Then you have another part which called the cochlea, the coiled part. So when you're talking about hearing, you have to uncoil it. Then it contains the organ of corti, which converts the sound waves into the impulse. So the organ of corti has the sensory cells which detects the change in pressure. They're being stimulated depending on how much pressure is being applied. And then it converts that uh, pressure or waves into an impulse. The impulse is being sent to the brain for interpretation. Then you have uh, what you call the eustachian tube. Eustachian tube is very important in uh, equalizing, in equalizing uh, the pressure on the either side of the tympanic membrane. So is the tympanic membrane is this. So if there is a pressure on this side coming in and then this pressure is supposed, it means that there'll be high pressure this side and then there'll be low pressure this side. Then it means that this station tube must bring the, the pressure so that now the pressure inside and the pressure outside is equal so that there is no rupturing of the tympanic membrane. And if there is low pressure on this side, then it means that also this side, it must be lowered so that now the pressure is equalized here. But if the pressure, one side is greater than another side, then it might cause the tympanic membrane to rupture. Therefore, a station tube is very important in protecting this tympanic membrane by equalizing the pressure on the other side of it. Then you have what's called the round window. A round window is very important. Yes, we have also pressure inside the inner ear. So the round window is very important in absorbing that uh, pressure in, from the inner ear. Remember, when the vibration comes, it enters into the uh, cochlea. Some pressure is supposed to be sent back because not all of it is being used. And then uh, that pressure is being absorbed by the round window. So the round window is very important in raising the pressure from the inner ear. So it absorbs, it absorbs the pressure from the inner ear absorb pressure from this part of the ear. And then lastly, the oval window transmits the sound vibration to the inner ear. So the vibration which is caused, so oval window is very important in transmitting the vibration from the middle ear to the inner ear. So basically this is what you need to know about the, uh, about the ear, the functions of the ear. Please know the part and the function, part and the function. So how is the outer ear adapted its function of collecting and bringing the information to the inner ear? How is it? Therefore, you just have to look at one part and then talk about the function. One part and talk about the function. Let's look at uh, the hearing process.